गुड आफ्टरनून सर हेलो गुड आफ्टरनून सर आफ्टरनून हेलो स्टार्ट द क्लास यस सर यस सर 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 यू टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट Topic of one that is of C seven. Okay, visible. Yes, sir. One university taxonomy and utilization of fungi. Okay.
ఓకే లిజన్ యర్ టాల్ ఆఫ్ యు అడబుల్ ఇప్పుడు వినిపిస్తుంది సార్ అప్పుడు ఇస్ క్లియర్ ఎస్ సర్ లో లో ఉంది సార్ కొద్ది కొద్ది ఎంచ్ పల్స్ సౌండ్ క్లియర్ సార్ తీసుకోదురా హలో ఇస్ ఓకే ఎస్ సార్ ఆ ఓకే ఓకే ఎస్ టుడే వి ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ సో యువర్ దిస్ ఇస్ ఆఫ్ సి 7 ఇన్ సి ఇస్ అ మైకాలజీ అండ్ ప్లాంట్ పెథాలజీ సి సెవెన్ ఓకే బిఫోర్ గో దాట్ ఫార్ నో యూ is in your tell of you now yeah today we are going to discuss about diversity of fungus and plant pathology this is our topic so before that one you see you know very well just a little introduction about plant kingdom okay
సార్ మీ వాయిస్ రావట్లేదు సార్ నో సార్ హలో షేదిగా తిరుగుతాం సార్ సార్ నావ్ ఇస్ విజిబుల్ సార్ ఎస్ సో యు నో వి ఆర్ టుడే వి ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ ఫంగస్ ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ఫంగస్ అవర్ టాపిక్ ఇస్ డైవర్సిటీ ఆఫ్ ఫంగస్ ప్లాంట్ పెథాలజీ దిస్ ఇస్ అవర్ సిలబస్ టుడే వి ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ వాట్ ఇస్ ద ఫంగస్ before going the fungus see now this is a classification of plant kingdom and third the plant kingdom paracelinius scientist mainly divided into two sections one it is in cryptograms second one is phanerograms first one cryptograms crypto crypto means your non flowering plants second one is phanerograms Here, this is a flowering plants or another name that is in spermatophyta all these cryptograms according to plant structures this category again it is divided mainly three sections one it is in thallophyta second one is bryophyta and uh, third one is pteridophytes third one is pteridophytes so what is the meaning of cryptograms cryptograms means total it is non flowering plants so these are all the plants you are looking with the shady places and uh, generally you are looking in only rainy seasons generally in this group first one is thallophyta what is the meaning of thallophyta thallus thallus means here undifferentiated plant body undifferentiated means there is no leaf there is no leaf there is no other systems because it is in thallophyta yeah so second bryophytes pteridophytes no need now again this thallophyta is divided in mainly two categories number 1 is a number 2 that is in fungus okay here algae algae means the first photosynthetic primitive organisms the first land photosynthetic primitive organisms we call that is in algae okay second one so our topic our topic second one that is in fungus okay so what is the meaning of fungus yeah so see you now here the term the term fungus the term fungus are important in every day in human life the fungi are important they composes its most ecosystem the fungi as a food play a role in human nutrition in the form of mushroom and also as agents of fermentation in the production of bread cheeses alcoholic 
beverages and other numerous other food preparations okay so fungus it is the most important in our daily life so here the term fungus is derived from greek word fung spongy spongy meaning spongy like and it refers to a soft fleshy spongy like fruit bodies study of fungi is called mycology m y k e s mycos meaning mushrooms mycos meaning science studying of mycos we call that is in fungus the fungi is highly specialized non chlorophyll most important point so we are first point that is in chlorophyll absence of chlorophyll absence of chlorophyll chlorophyll second one is heterotrophic means the fungus is depending on others in the host there is no host there is no fungus that's why the fungus we call that is in heterotrophic and next point eukaryotic organisms means the fungus cell is contained above the nucleus above the nucleus here we are like one cover like structures nucleus envelope that's why we call this is in eukaryotic a chlorophyll heterotrophic and eukaryotic organisms okay and so next of the fungus with hyphae possessing cell wall generally made up of fungal chitin fungal chitin generally the fungus cell wall made up of chitin other things means there it is in cellulose hemicellulose pectin there all the such we are looking in fungus any spite of one of the special structure is there special structure about the cell wall it is made up of chitin and reproductive reproductive here we are looking uh, vegetative or other both asexual and sexual producing by spores characteristics of special each group. each group is producing different type of the different type of the asexual reproductive organs like conidiums aplanospores yeah the next one we see the fungi constitute a group of living organisms divided of chlorophyll or other photosynthetic pigments and their cell wall is definite wall the fungus generally two types is there one fungus we call that is in false fungi second one that is in true fungi false fungi means there is no cell wall in this sort of cell wall here we are looking plasmodium stuck plasmodium stuck this is the most important point in the fungus absence of cell wall okay some fungi is contain definite true cell wall that's why the fungus it is in two types one it is a false fungi second one that is it the fungi it is a cosmopolitan distributions the fungus we are looking all over the world of wise everywhere we are looking the fungus in zero degree centigrade sometimes we are looking in minus degree centigrade 50 or 60 centigrade is also the fungus and the, uh, <coughs> the form growing in all substrates with some organic matter and the moisture at the cold places the moisture uh, are found in water soil on decaying plant and animal parts okay so next the fungus 
including water mold water mold yeast dog and green and blue all three milidios and other shape that is of cup like fungi okay moreless toughless rust smut jelly fungi the pocket fungi of ball fungi mushrooms different type of the structures you are looking in fungus and some fungus some fungus with association association with the roots of higher plants uh, specialized structures we call that is in mycorrhiza okay so we call that is in mycorrhiza this is a little introduction about this and next now you see what is the importance of fungus what is the importance of the fungus the fungus is important in our human life why means these fungus they are using different type of the industries okay like that is a uh, medical industries and uh, alcoholic industries beverages industries fermentation purpose they are using different type of the sections in fungus okay and uh, they play an important tool of medicine by antibiotics in of antibiotics and of agricultural by maintaining of soil fertility it is a consumed as a food and also forms our basis of many industries some of these fungi are produced toxic substance c known as mycotoxins okay so other uh, yeast uh, are used to breaking craving for the production of carbon dioxide in alcohol some other edible fungi agaricus okay, mushrooms yeah, and uh, paliporus okay, these are all the edible fungi the fungi are source of production antibiotic mainly that is in penicillium okay and uh, alkaloids clavicips and growth hormones piperylins organic acids lactic acid and citric acids enzymes cellulose catalyze so these are all the enzymes are using to produce to different type of the fungi and uh, vitamins mycoproteins in riboflavin riboflavin vitamins uh, are coming from the uh, fungus the uh, fungi next now you see which is a parasitic insects can be extremely useful controlling insects and uh, pest traps the spores are fungi is spread in the crops fungi have been used to control colorado potato which, is, which can be so devastated potato which have been controlled the fungi so this like this is all to the importance of fungi so next now you see thallus organization of fungi okay thallus organization of fungi so mainly entire the fungus vegetative body fungus vegetative body is hyloid means undifferentiated plant okay so there is no root there is no stem there is no leaves so next now you see here the fungi generally mainly two types is there one it is in unicellular fungus we cellular fungus second one that is in filamentous thallus filamentous thallus okay so what is the meaning of unicellular unicellular means this the round like structures we are looking in only one one fungus okay so all that is in unicellular fungus second one that is in filamentous filamentous means like a thread like long uh, vegetative structures in it we call that is filamentous thallus okay so the unicellular fungi are mainly in among two sporic fungi two sporic fungi which fungus is produced okay two spores we call that is in two sporic fungi just uh, examples in ascomycetes Example that is in Ascomycetes, uh, 
here the fungus example that is in Chilchitium indomagicum and Catidiomycetes. So we call that is in unicellular fungi. Yeast also that is in unicellular fungi. The second one, the filamentous type. Mycelium of majority fungus. Majority fungus it is the filamentous type. Majority fungus it is in filamentous type. All the unicellular forms are holocarpic. Important point here, this is holocarpic means the entire the thallus function as parenchyum or gametanchyum duration when it is post the reproduction system. Entire the fungus, entire the fungus is modified, modified as a sexual reproductive organ. We call that is in holocarpic. Other one that is of monocentric. Second one, the thallus of other unicellular fungi is differentiated into vegetative reproductive portions. Such a type of thallus that is in eucarpic. The name that is in polycentric. Means, for example, when you see here, this is a one fungi. This fungi, when it is going to the reproduction system, Entire the fungi is modified as a sexual reproductive organ. We call that is in holocarpic fungus. Okay. Second one that is of eucarpic. Eucarpic is, for example, you see here this is entire the fungus. In this entire the fungus, one of the portion, one of the section is going to modified as a sexual reproductive organ. We call that is in eucarpic, either name that is in polycentric. Okay, one it is in monocentric, second one that is in polycentric. And next, now you see one more important point the yeast daughter cells. Yeast daughter cells, another one special type of structure shall so like above the yeast. One daughter cell is coming above the yeast, we call that is in. But dig, okay, but do not detach immediately in the form of child. Being some time after some times it is divided. So before all that is of pseudomycelium. For example, you see here this is for example this hind it is a one of the fungus, this fungus so above the fungus you are making one small like structures. The same type of the structures when like small is there. Small, we call that is in pseudomycelium. Pseudomycelium means it is not a true mycelium. So after, after sometimes it is divided. So when it is divided, it goes to true mycelium. Before we are saying that is in pseudomycelium. Okay. So this cell forms I cell sometimes, sometimes under the vegetative phase, free living. Multicellular amoeboid mass protoplasm without cell wall. We call that is in mixomycetes. Yeah. So the cell wall, when the unicellular fungi, yeah, vegetative phase, vegetative phase above cell wall, there is no proper structure. So here we are looking at only plasmodium like. That's why we call this is a false fungi. Without cell wall, these structures we are looking in only so my Yeah. So next one that is in dimorphic fungi. Dimorphism means the fungi can exist in the form of and other different type of the shapes. We call that is in dimorphisms. Okay, we call that is in dimorphisms. So this is the thallus organization of fungi. So here I'm sure now you see this is a unicellular fungi. Second one that is in filamentous like structures. Next now you see yes, this is a holocarpic, holo, entire the plant body is going to modify it as a. Reproductive organ. We call that is in 
target. So this is a Dallas organizations, and uh, we are looking filamentous thallus. We call another name that is a high phase appetitions. The mycelium of majority of fungi is made up of filamentous structures called high phase filamentous like. Like we are looking for wire like structures. We call that is filamentous high phase. Okay, so depending on presence, absence of septa in the high phase. This mycelium is divided in two sections. Okay, this filamentous hyphae. Depending on the structures, it is divided in two parts, two sections. One it is in a separate mycelium. Second one that is in separate mycelium. Or what is the meaning of a separate? Separate means there is no separate branches. Okay, for a mycelium. So Thallus we are looking from here to here. Total there is no in between any separation. Okay, means here the nucleus is goes to here to here to here to here. And tire the uh, mycelium is the nucleus free movement. Free movement is there. This type of the hyphae we call that is in sinocytic. We call that is in sinocytic. Second word. Second one that is in Separate, separate, separate means in between, in between. Now you see here, so this is a phenocytic mycelium. So in this one is one, one is a one nucleus, in between there we are looking one separate structure is there. Okay, so that is a phenocytic mycelium, and one that is a separate mycelium. Elemental type fungus. So next now you see. In some fungi septum shows simple pore in the center through which the protoplasmic continuity maintained between the cell. And uh, such a septum is called simple pore. For example, when you see that this uh, one cell, so here we are looking one more vegetative structures in between, in between, so we are looking one pole like structures. Okay. This pole is very simple. Pole is a very simple. This type of the pore we call that is a simple pore. Okay, in higher fungi, so there we are looking some special means in between. So there we are looking one barrel shaped pore is there. Barrel shaped we call that is a poly pore shaped. Okay, in the cross section of crescent shaped. Top like structures is called that is often at from only pores. Okay, in higher fungi, the IFA aggregation from organized, organized that is a two types is there. Uh, the fungi tissues we call generally that is a plectin time Here we are looking, when we are looking in the vegetative thallus. Here it is in two types. So before the two types, we are saying that is in plectin chyma. Okay, so this plectin chyma, it is a uh, two types is there. Two types. One it is in prosenchyma. Second one that is in pseudo parenchyma. Okay, See, this is the fungus filamentous structures. Before that is in plectin chyma. Okay. So next to this plectin chyma, recognize two types. One it is in prosen chyma, second one that is in pseudo parent chyma. So what is the meaning of prosen chyma? These uh, alas vegetative structures, the loose arrangement hyphen is there. We call that is in prosen chyma. Okay, second one that the compact loose. Arrangement of filamentous is there, we call that is in pseudo parenchyma. Okay, the fungal tissues, other either pseudo parenchyma is associated with the reproductive structures are called stomata. Okay, the fungal tissues, either pseudo parenchyma associated with the reproductive structures, all that is in stoma. So, then you see. Is a simple pore. Below part here it is in 
Meryl Sheep. Four means cytoplasm is goes to one fungus to other fungus very easily. Simple structure is there because that is in simple top like structure is there because that is in barrel shape. Because that is in barrel shape. Okay. So and the next point. Cell and cell wall structure of fungus. Cell and cell wall structure of fungus. Found anyone edible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Please. Uh, next one. The fungus cell. Almost all. The vegetative cells of fungus are typically eukaryotic. Okay, with all the majority structural components, 99% in all the uh, fungus cell it is in eukaryotic. So eukaryotic means above the nucleus, one tower-like structure is there. So we call that is in eukaryotic. Okay, and next now you see here. Already is the uh, fungus two types. One is in false fungi, second one that is in true fungi. False fungi, there is no cell wall. There is no proper cell wall. Instead of proper cell wall, so we are looking at the plasmodium structures. Okay, the inside of now you see uh, <coughs> fungus cell, one it is in cell wall second one is plasma membrane and third one that is in nucleus fourth one is mitochondria and uh, endoplasmic reticulums ribosomes Golgi operators okay and uh, lysosomes chromosomes and uh, cytosomes vacuoles cell inclusions and uh, microtubules microbodies all type of the structures are looking in fungus Next, now you see the fungus hyphae means cell wall is contained 80 to 90 percent polysaccharides. Okay, 80 to 90 percent is polysaccharides, 1 to 15 percent is proteins. Second one that is in 10 percent is lipids. The cell wall comprises most of the plant's dry feet and is uh, composed primarily of three polymer components cellulose, hemicellulose, lignin. Dry plant is generally contained 40 to 50 percent cellulose, 15 to 25 percent is hemicellulose, 20 to 25 percent is lignin, and other. 10 to 10 percent other components inorganic components so these are all the structures these are all the sections you are looking in fungus cell wall so next development of the hyphae growth the development we are looking it is in polarized and hyphae grow in only tip of the tip of the sections the hyphae apex is more or less wide of most cellular Conclusions except for a large number of cytoplasmic vesicles, but throughout the function is hype tip of the group. Fungal development always we are looking tip of tip of the section. So in some fungi, mycelial thallus produces localized somatic structures. These some type of the fungus. Different type of the structures and type of the parts. We call that is in rhizoids. Okay, either name that is of in rhizomorphs, either name that is in apressuria, astoria, hyphophilia. Means these are all the fungal structures depending on some is a loose arrangement, other one that is in close, other one that is in compact. Very compact arrangement depending on the structures. All that is in rhizoids and rhizomorphs. Okay, a presuria, 
Asturia and uh, Ifoporia. For example, here rhizoids. Rhizoids means the fungus is produced from hair-like structures. Okay, it is acting as a root. These rhizoids, okay, it is attached to where the where the host. Okay, it is taking food material from the host. Because that is in rhizoids. Similarly, rhizomorphs and Apresoria, Hasturias, Hasturias also acting as their root like structures. Okay, so this is a cell and a cell wall structures of the fungus. Uh, here now you see this is a fungal cell, little bit diagrammatic means all the cell wall is there in between that is a protoplasm is there, and protoplasm is contained while bodies, ribosomes, lysosomes. In all the sections we are looking in that one, except in only plastids, absence of plastids. Okay, there is no big mems. It is a cell wall. And next, now you see here, this is a fungus cell wall structures. Okay, see, this is a chitin. Generally, the chitin we are looking in only uh, animals, but some of the a fungus is contained the chitin. Chitin is most important. So, next, we see here. Enter the fungus nutritions. Most all, you know very well the fungus it is heterotropic. Okay? The fungus always is depending on where the host. There is no host, there is no fungus. That's why. This fungus is divided mainly three categories. Number one, that is in parasitic fungi. Number two, that is in saprophytic fungi. Number third one, that is in symbiotic, so symbiotic fungi. Okay. Mainly the fungus is divided based on the nutrition three types. One, it is in parasitic. Now, what is the meaning of parasitic? Some of them can like only living in only one living protoplasm and uh, they are known as obligate parasites. They cannot grow in culture medium in labs. Means parasites. Parasites means it is depending on complete totally where the host. There is no host, there is no this type of the fungi. Okay, but this is uh, in between. So in this one. Obligate parasite is the most important. Obligate parasites means sometimes it is depending on there is no uh, host, not growing, but uh, these obligate parasites cannot grow in our uh, laboratories. Okay, some of the obligate parasites also in our laboratory we call that is in bio traps. We call that is in bio trap. But these uh, Parasites are generally two types. One, it is in ectoparasites. Second one, that is in endoparasites. That means ectoparasites. Ecto means, for example, when you see here, we are looking, this is the cell. Above the cell, above the cell, okay? So, in the fungi, we call that is in ectoparasites. Endo, endo means inside, inside the cell. And historiums, our rhizomorphs are going to inside the cell, so we call that is in endoparasites. Okay, and next to second one that is in saprophytic fungi. Saprophytic fungi means the fungus growing in only where the dead wild materials, where the dead or other destroyed materials. Here we are looking some type of the fungus, we call that is in saprophytic. And uh, next one that is in symbiotic fungi. Symbiotic. Symbiotic means it is association with other organisms. Association with other organisms. We call that is in symbiotic association. The, the lichens, some of the fungus association with the algae. Okay. So we call that is in symbiotic association. Finally, the fungal nutrition. Types one it is in parasitic fungi, second one that is in saprophytic fungi, and uh, third one that is in symbiotic fungi. 
Uh, here, now you see, you see the I'm showing one slide that is a parasitic fungi, Brassica nigra. This is often so there they are licking. Uh, with white rust diseases, Penicillium, it is a saprophytic, and some of the lichens, it is a symbiotic association based on the nutrition. And next, now you see uh, reproduction of fungus. Generally, the reproduction system is in three types. One, it is in the reproduction system. Second one, that is in asexual reproduction system. And third one, that is in sexual reproduction system. Okay? So, instituted reproduction system is instituted not participate in any sexual reproduction systems. The plant world not germinating any special type of the structures. Okay. So all that is in to reproduction system. Just like we see fragmentations, budding, arthosporia, clandospores, the markups, sclerosia, based on the structures, based on the structures. So, all that is in different type of the names is there. All together we call it is in Generally, asexual reproduction This is most important here. Yeah? The asexual reproduction The first one that is the second one is aplanospores, and third one that is branchiospores, fifth one is and HMR. All together, we call the DC as sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction is the first one that is in the What is the meaning of horrible conditions? The plant body is germinated on special type of the structures. So these structures are comes to outside the outside the fungus body. Okay. So these are what is contained flagellas flagellas we call that is in spores and the second one that is in aplanospores aplanospores means the spores are not contained flagellas we call that is in aplanospores okay. so next one that is in Branchiospores means some is a fungus, some is fungus is comes to some type of the spores. We call that is in branchiospores. And the next one, another one, pneumophores, which is the rhizomorphs. All together, we call that is in sexual reproduction system. Next one, this one, these are all the structures. Is in and the second one is in sporocar and sporidium as well as pictidium. So these are all the associated with the organ structures. Okay, so this is the repression system of fungi. And you uh, know, second one sexual repression system. The sexual reproduction system, the process of sexual reproduction is completed in three distinct phases. Okay. Before going the sexual reproduction system, you see, we know very well the first one that is in isogamy, second one is an isogamy, and third one that is in gamy. Okay. So here isogamy. Isogamy means Two equal gametes is there. We are not identified. The, which one is a male gamete, which one is a female gamete. Okay. Two same type of the gametes we call that is in isogamy. Second one, anisogamy. Anisogamy means so here we are looking, sir. This one is a, a male reproductive organ, sir. This one is a female reproductive organ. So one Male reproductive organ is giving the material. Second one, female reproductive organ is absorbing. We call that is in the second one that is an anisogamy. Third one that is in ugamy. Ugamy means 
the male reproductive organ is only okay giving some genetic materials the female reproductive organ absorbing only. there is no any movement to female reproductive organ we call that is gamete the general reproduction systems but in that sections so here the fungi sexual reproduction system three distinct phases is there one it is in plasmogamy second one is karyogamy and third one that is in meiosis the first point that you see here plasmogamy gamy means fusex plasma one liquid material comes to one place to other places so when it is closely okay we call that is in plasmogamy second point karyogamy karyo means nucleus okay after together two together both nucleus are coming formation is one goes to why is the one nucleus we call that is in karyogamy and uh, so next point next point that is in meiosis yeah already we know very well meiosis so here now you see uh, the fungi may be monoecious means bisexual and uh, or dioecious here it is in unisexual the monoecious fungi are called homothallic this is the most important in the fungus okay so when we are looking when we are looking in monoecious fungi means the bisexual they are saying here it is in homothallic fungi yeah the dioecious fungi is differentiated male and female thallus such a thallus are sexually self sterile okay this is most important topic yeah a single thallus of dioecious species cannot reproduce by sexual method they require another compatible thallus of different maintain a type of sexual reproduction they are heterothallic means for example you see the bread that was the bread we are looking in mucar here we are looking in one mucar that this mucar is not going to okay the reproduction system another mucar why means some of the fungi sexually differ physically same okay so both are same fungi but it is not going to reproduction system so that's why uh, aware another fungi okay so comes to together i am going to reproduction system so we call that is in heterothallic the sex organs we call that is in gametangia sex organs we call that is in gametangia the plasmogamy takes place by uh, here this is different type of the methods one it is in planogametic copulation okay see gametangial contact and third one that is in gametangial copulations this is the spermatization and somatogamy the plasmogamy takes place by the different type of the methods planogametic copulation copulation are different contact are different copulation copulation means the genetic material comes to male the genetic material is goes to where the female reproductive organ we call this is copulations okay and the next point contact contact means both fungus are coming together okay genetic material is goes to here to here or here to here okay so when it is closed and uh, above the genetic material formation one fruiting like bodies like example that is in ascomycotina group and other one that is in gametangial copulations and the next one that is in fertilizations so mito gamy okay so next now see is entire the fungi produce some type of the uh, which one that is in hormones we call that is in sexual hormones that is uh, trisporic uh, alpha factors uh, serenin and of anthroidal so these are all the sexual uh, hormones so this is the uh, next one you see development of conidias means associated with the organ how we told that is in conidias this conidias development we are we are looking there are uh, 
two main types of conidium development. One it is in colic, second one that is in plastic development. Okay. Thylic development, that the first class one appears and thus the created cell develops into spore, that is of holothalic and prothalic. Conidio development, entire, entire the fungi. All that is of holothalic. Okay. The first cross wall appears and thus the created cell develops into spore. One section, one portion. Go to conidio. Uh, we call that is in phallic conidiogenesis. Second one, plastic. Uh, where the spore are already present before it separates from the conidiogenic hyphae, which is giving rise to holoblastic, that is of anthroplastic. What is holothalic? All layers of conidiogenous cells involve involved in formation of conidium wall. All this is of a conidium. Second one, enterothalic. Only inner wall. Inner wall becomes parts of conidial wall. Because that is of an enterothalic. And our next one that is in plastic, holoblastic. And our next one that is in enteroblastic. Now you see here I am showing some examples that is of an holoblastic and an enteroblastic. For all the asexual reproductive sections, so one it is in cinnamata and uh, pycnidiums, acerbulus and pycnidiums. Uh, so this is a, a sexual reproductive organ diagram. One is in isogamy, and uh, see isogamy means two equal gametes. Anisogamy. This is anisogamy, and here now you see this is a heterogamy. And this is of an tangible contact, which is in tangible populations, and here this is spermatizations in the tomato. And next to what is the most important point is the another one that is in parasexual cycle. Means the fungus can be divided mainly that is of myxomycetes. Mycota and These are mycota is a two fungi. The mycota is divided into five sections. This is mastogomycotina, dicomycotina, and ascomycotina, basidia cotina, deuteromycotina. Before going this one, what is the meaning of parasexual cycle? That just now I completed sexual depression system, yeah, and a sexual depression system. But here, some of the fungus is not going to reproduction system. Okay? Not produced any sexual reproductive organs. Why means the first one now you see here it is in mastigomycotina and uh, second one that is zygomycotina. In this both we are looking only sexual reproductive organs. In ascomycotina there is no sexual reproduction, sexual reproductive parts is there and uh, estriomycotina so, deuteromycotin is totally absence of sexual depression. Then we are looking in only asexual reproductive organs. The plane of sexual depression is mastigomycotin. Mastigomycotina. So, here we are looking at sexual depression systems. Okay. But uh, when we are coming to the other one, two, three, four, fifth, we will try the absence of sexual depression systems. That's why all that is in. Parasexual cycle. Parasexual cycle. About the 80% of the fungal mycotina. In this fungus, the sexual reproduction is very rare, totally absent in the absent in the life cycle. This most important part. Uteromycotina. Totally absent sexual reproduction systems. Some fungi, then morphological differentiated, morphological differentiated sex organs are not produced, and interaction takes place between two opposite strains of mycelia, resulting in sexual reproduction systems. 
okay so that is of enterocaryosis means two different nucleus are present in the same cell basically might go in now that's why we call that is of enterocaryosis okay the parasexuality is important phenomena where the partial genetic recombination takes place in fungus without undergoing the sexual reproduction but mitotic tracing overs occur that is generally hybridizations okay that is a heterocaryon formations formation of heterozygous occasionally okay. mitotic crossing over during the multiplications of the nucleus occasionally applied that is through finally the uh, parasexual cycle and next uh, here that is of heterocaryon formations this is achieved most commonly by anastomosis between hyphae of different and rarely by mutations okay the formation of heterozygous and nuclear fusion between similar nuclear in heterocaryotic matrix cell result in the formation of heterozygous diploid occasionally mitotic crossing over during the multiplication of diploid nucleus mitotic crossing over is the most important key event parasexual cycle in which is genetic recombination takes place hybridization so the diploid the diploid nucleus gives rise to diploid nucleus a gradual loss of chromosomes in the successive mitotic region this phenomenon known as hybridization okay so this is a parasexual life cycle of fungus okay so next to what is the life cycle of fungus in the link the five basic types of life cycles in fungi one it is in a sexual life cycle the sexual reproduction is uh, apparently lacking in diploid is strictly to only somatic stage entire the group is known as fungi in perfect heteromycotina here no sexual reproduction system here we are looking in only a sexual reproduction system all of that is only a sexual life cycle second one that is in applied the life cycle is completely applied meiosis immediately follows their fusion the applied phase is restricted to several nucleus and uh, minimal durations okay so the call that is in applied life cycle is completely applied only when it is going to okay meiosis on the time so we are looking in only applied phase entire the cycle applied only when it is going to reproduction systems on the time that is in applied stage because that is in applied life cycles and the third one that is in applied and dicaryotic dicaryotic dicaryophase more extensive and independent of applied phase as for it less that is also applied and applied both phase alternate regulars that is the saccharomyces as an example applied completely deployed applied phase is restricted to the mitangial phase the mitangial phase so this is a life cycle of fungi and the next we see systematic position and classifications already told the fungi were placed under the kingdom planet in the earlier classifications they are classified under thallophyta icla i told before the class the icla classifications thallophyta the fungi are included in third kingdom that is the protista along with algae the next one scientists the fungi included bacteria lichens and micelles now presently native native is divided the fungi are four classes that is of phycomycetes ascomycetes mycetes and uh, 
messages. Whitaker scientist is a famous scientist in the fungus. He's also divided into five kingdoms. And uh, Ains work. This is recent classifications. They are all are followed in these classifications. Yeah. So these classifications tag the fungus divided is mainly two sections. One is mycota, second one that is mycota. Mycota is a false fungi. Second one that is a mycota that is being okay. And the mixomycota plasmodium is present. Please respond, anyone? Edible and visible, please respond. Yes, yes, yes sir. sir. Five minutes and you are. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, entire the, the fungi ends worth the classification. This is the most important in the examination part. Okay? Ends worth the classifications. Using Ayesh. 1973, Hainsworth is classified broadly two categories Mixomycota and Eumycota. Mixomycota false, Eumycota true. I already told what is true, what is uh, uh, false. Mixomycota, it is a plasmodium is present instead of cell wall. Here we are looking at only plasmodium like structures. All that is in where the plasmodium structures we are looking, we call that is in mixomycota. Another name that is in false fungi. Yes. Next, now you see here, eumycota. This is possible. This eumycota, plasmodium are absent. In this of plasmodium, here we are looking through cell wall structures. Assimilative phase. Typically, it is a filamentous. Mycelium is present. Is further divided mainly five divisions. They are all are followed. Commonwealth countries are also followed in this one. Okay, entire the fungi to my quota mainly divided in five categories. One it is in mastigomycotina. Sir, what is the meaning of mastigomycotina? Where the motile juice course is there. Okay. Where the motile juice spores is there, we call that is in mastigomycotina. And uh, second one, digomycotina, non suppurtate where the xenocytic mycelium is there, that is in zygomycotina. And the uh, third one, ascomycotina, fruiting body. Fruiting body is generally known as ascocar. Okay, we call that is in ascomycotina, basidiomycotina. The club fungi, the sexual process starts in two different cells of the same thallus or two sexually different thallus belonging to primary mycelium by means of fusion. We call this is a basidium. Last one that is in pseudomycotina. The cells without, without pseudomycelium characteristic to mycelium lacking are not well developed. So, Five types is there. This is the most and most important a classification of describe the Eumycota fungi. If not, please classify in worth of fungal classifications. Yeah. Here now you see this is a thing. Chart the kingdom are divided in the base base plasmodium. One it is a mixomycota, second one that is a mycota. Plasmodium or pseudomycelium are present. Plasmodium or pseudomycelium are absent. Assimilative phase, typically filamentous type. And here, mixomycota, again it is in four types. But yeah, this is more simple. Okay. Mastic microbial fraction of two spores. That's the spores in here. And the ascomycotina, that is the second spores, because that is an ascospores. And the basidium microbial sexual spores are basidium spores. And uh, we are sexual production are uh, absent. Okay. So this is 
classification, classification function of the surface. Okay. So next one you see here diversity is related to fungus biology, cosmopolitan distribution, entire the world wise. 100 degrees centigrade above, 100 degrees centigrade. In all the sections, in all the area, we are looking constitute very large group of organisms found of our ecological niche. They are, uh, they are known as colonized and that is after multiply, survive by diversified habitats, water, soil, air, litter, dung, etc. In all the places. Okay? So here now you see the first one that is a uh, soil fungi. And uh, philoplane fungi or little fungi, seed worm fungi, aquatic fungi, and uh, chlorophyllous fungi, entomogenous fungi, and uh, predaceous fungi, and uh, it is a uh, keratinophilic. First one, soil fungi. A fungi that growing in the soil, we call that is a soil fungi. Microscopic plant like cells that grow in long thread like structures, hyphae that makes a moss called mycelium. The mycelium absorbs nutrients from the roots, it is colonized. Surface organic matter of the soil, it produces special hyphae that create the reproductive force because that is in soil fungi. No flame fungi means the fungi growing in only about the leaf, not root system, not stem system, not uh, flower, not uh, root systems. Fungi growing in only where the about the leaf. So, because that is a no flame fungi, the growing surface of leaves, surface of the leaves. Next one that is a Seed borne fungi. Seed borne fungi means the fungi produce a different type of the spores. If the spores are produced, but that is in seed borne fungi. Various diseases with crops, which produce by seeds or these diseases are spread by the seed throughout the countries. Different control practices with microorganisms have been used to manage. Is okay. So then the producing spores because that is in seed one fungi, aquatic fungi, water fungi. The fungi is growing in the water. That is a gigomycotina or ascomycotina, residuomycotina. So these are all the fungi are going to the water. Next one that is a fungus fungi. It is growing in only about the animals. About the animals, so the name that is of coprophilus fungi. Okay. So, next one that is a keratinophilic fungi. These are keratinophilic fungi aims extreme environments. Temperature is one of the further factor which determines the distribution of depending on the range temperature at which they grow classified. Cyprophilus, cypro, zero degree centigrade. If the fungus is growing in only minus a zero degree centigrade. Second one that is a, a thermophilic. Thermophilic means 40 to 50 degree centigrade temperature above the temperature 40 to 50. The next one that is a when the sodium concentrate, sodium chloride, because that is in aglo. They're all the uh, fungus predictions, okay. diversity of the Yes. Have you any doubt? Please ask to me. Please respond, anyone? Okay. 
to respond anyone how many members is there have any doubt in this one no sir no sir no sir have any doubt any tap cross okay sir please share this oh, oh, sir. okay 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 Thank, Thank you, you very much. Uh, yeah, yeah. So already I completed. Okay, so we'll go to the uh, so we'll go to the next one. That is it.